Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build open world structures in Valheim that give you a rested bonus, like you see in the background. Typically, when people make stuff in Valheim, they make these kind of huts, right? That are more blocky, and when you're inside, it's just a room. You can't see outside of it, you don't know what's happening, and you can't see any of the beauty that Valheim has to offer. And I think it's way cooler to build a bunch of windows so that you can always see outside, as you can see in this structure. Now, normally when you just build windows, you're going to lose your structure and you will lose your shelter bonus. If you can see though, we go into this structure and we get rested. If we're in the corner, we're rested. If we're in front of the window, we're rested. So it's totally possible to build open structures that give you rested bonus. And it's a much better way to build just because Valheim is so beautiful and being able to see through the windows and having minimal visibility reduced is just an awesome way to build. So check out the rest of this video if you want to see more about how to build in this style. As you can see, it's beginning to rain here and the fire will stay lit. I want to show you just so you believe me. Even though we can go out here and there's actually like a tiny bit of rain coming in sometimes, right? So you have to angle it right, but you'll also be able to keep your comfort buff. As you can see, I'm rested, even though the graphic for the rain is coming in here. It doesn't seem to matter. Now, we're going to take away all of these components here, and I'm going to just show you the basic structure so that you can learn how to build in this style. And you'll notice that now we still have the comfort bonus. So a lot of that stuff was actually just bonus. The really thing that matters, the thing that really matters, is these things right here. See how once I took away those the wood, then the comfort bonus went away. So you can actually make a decently effective wall simply by placing the wood on top of a lower wooden wall, just like this. As long as you have these two components and you have proper roof coverage, then you're going to get a rested bonus. Let me just make a workbench real quick. So I'll make this wall just to show you. So this is nothing, nothing fancy. It's just a basic frame, right? We have a frame three by three of these pieces, right? And then there's just floorboards. There's a fire here, so there's nothing, there's no floorboard. And there's just some more of these. This is all pretty basic stuff. But as you can see, there's no rested bonus. I can kind of get it if I go to the right spots, but simply by making these lower walls, we can usually get the rested bonus to show up. And sometimes it doesn't work as well, and we'll troubleshoot that a little bit so that you can get more comfortable doing this yourself. See, as soon as I put these beams in here, Now we have a rested bonus. This only works because right now it's not rainy or windy really, and also because I'm kind of low. If I jump, see how the rested bonus disappears? So if you're having problems with it, what you can do is just dig down and then this area, you'll always have rested bonus here. If you just make it a little bit deeper like this, then the rested bonus is much stronger. If you're having issues, it's probably because your character or your bed are just a little bit too high up. So try and just kind of lower them into the ground, and then you'll get your comfort bonus and your shelter bonus. And with the chimney, it's quite easy. We can make that now. All you have to do is have an open space you need to use these angled pieces, the 45 degree ones, and then go to the top of the roof and place two of them. 
in sort of a corner shape, like this. And then that'll prevent the rain from coming in. And if it's not working, then just kind of angle them a little bit differently. You can change it so it's like, instead of like that, it's like sideways a little bit. Based on where you built your structure, you might have to change it a little bit. Then there's a few more tricks that you can use. But the basics of all the tricks is using wooden beams and doing stuff like this to sort of make these walls that have spots you can see through. And the game's gonna treat these like they are full walls, even though they're not, and you can obviously see through them. So let's kind of look at that. Let's try and find some weak spots in the shelter here. I know where one is. If we go over here and we go on top of this bed, because the bed is slightly higher up, you can see that we don't have our rested bonus anymore. So we're going to try and work around that by putting in some things here. Let's see. Still no rested bonus, so let's do it again with these upper parts. <laughs> now we're getting smoked. And still no rested bonus. So I have an idea. Instead of using the bed this way, what we're going to do is try and have the bed be a little bit closer to the ground. And that'll probably make sure that we have our rested bonus. So I'm going to inset it just like this. And now that we've inset the bed, or the platform for the bed, we can put the bed down and then walk on top of it or jump on top of it. And as you can see, we still have the rested bonus. And now the rested bonus is available everywhere in the structure. It gets a little bit finicky, but you can almost endlessly just kind of extend this pattern. So I'll show you it works better when you have these beams in sort of these window kind of shapes, just like, let's do this one actually. I like how that looks. Ah, here, just like that. So if you just kind of make these, I guess it's a, a hexagon, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. If you make these kind of six-sided shapes, you can have a really long wall, and as long as your, your roof overhangs a little bit, see, you can't do this if your roofs end right there. The roofs have to overhang. It's uh, important. Now, that's it for this video. If there's anything else you guys would like to learn about this kind of building, or any other building you've seen me do, then please comment below and let me know. If you want to support my work, then consider renting a Valheim dedicated server with my affiliate link. It's usually between $15 and $20 per month per server, so you can split that, and it's only like 5 bucks per person if you're playing with three other friends. And that way I'll get a cut of that, and you can use the dedicated server by looking at the tutorial I have shown on the screen now, which shows you exactly how to keep your own Valheim dedicated server that your friends can join whenever they want. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!